<laughs> My heart. Hello, you're breaking it. <laughs> Welcome to Quest Junkies UK for the Rodania Chronicles, episode five. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. We'll have to excuse uh, some of us, uh, as you can see from behind uh, Mr. Kasabi. There, uh, we are currently enduring some ridiculous weather at the minute. For the UK, anyway. No. No, no, no better time to be stuck inside playing TTRPG with my nearest and dearest <laughs> and melting at the same time like ice cream. But nonetheless, we're here and we are going to entertain you with some excellent stuff. So, first things first, as always, a big, big thank you to, <clears throat> I will get this right again this week, Sirenscape. Oh! Two weeks in a row, I got it right. <laughs> The love of people at Sirenscape, you can hear uh, excellent music and ambiences which will be throughout the session this week and every week that we play. Uh, wonderful people over there. Do be sure to go over and check it out. You could be a super siren. There's a free trial at the moment. You can give it a try for free. Uh, oh, that's the police that are coming after. In case you're not a good deal. Good. 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 Yep. Steel. It's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can. I think. I think it's a month. And. Uh, you get access to everything, so it's like thousands you have to, and yeah, thousands if, of stuff. If you can if you cancel before thirty days, it's free. There you go. See, see. No. John, John's the best person the to bear. talk to about the bear knows. Siren skate. <laughs> you guys are too hot. They're coming for you. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, Inspiration yeah, so to Bardic Song. Music from Sirenscape. Uh, I'll also be featuring music from various different things, um, such as uh, Jeremy Soul, who Soul Soul. I can't. Even, I my. I, I don't. I don't words very good. Uh, evidently, even my soul, soul is forfeit. <laughs> Your soul is forfeit. <laughs> Jeremy Soul. Uh, we have uh music from the bloodborne soundtrack should anything disastrous happen there's there's all sorts of music it's all awesome and you why all... would you say that well because why would you say that? nothing bad ever happens right not in D. &D. Um, yeah mean... nothing bad happens eh john D &D. yeah <laughs> no ne never just never Hide been behind thing. that that bare face so with all that being said where were we last time? Where were we last time? Oh yeah, of course, that was right. Uh, in a bit of a mess. So, everyone, this lovely group of characters, ended up at the Grand Library of Zavillan, the biggest library in all of Rodania, uh, where some research task was undertaken. A particular bear folk was lost in the wonders of the numerous books and literature and everything, all the knowledge that could be held within the walls of this heavenly place, um, and they they met some interesting people. One looked a lot like Ian McKellen, which you can see on my TikTok. That's a really cheap TikTok plugin. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, and then but, as right. as they settled down for the night, as they were about to settle down for the night. There was some commotion outside. After being reunited with a former companion, Kego, the half orc drunken master monk, uh, everyone rushed outside to find uh, a group of creatures, shall we say, um, and a masked figure who seemingly had Philander's father at. Not knife point, sword point? Is that a term? It's a bit like knife point, isn't it? It's just a big knife. Under the sword? sword? Yeah. Under the sword, shall we say. Um, yeah. And then removed... Pointy end. Yes, I will, I will, I will thank you for that, Bardic Song. Had him by the pointy end. <laughs> um, I don't know if that makes it any better. Anyway. <laughs> the mask was lifted to reveal... Yet another former companion, the Lady Rena of Briathlon. And that is where we last left off. So, first things first, let's swap over 
to the other screen to show the people at home the current situation. And there we go. I spent all day on this. I'm quite happy with it. I'm so, like so impressed. I'm so it's, terrified by what you've done. It's great. Look at all no. those innocent bystanders Man. that I can murder. Wait, no, I didn't say that. They're going to be fine, surely. I mean, as long as they die, not us, I'm fine with that. I don't know these people. They're just cannon fodder, right? right? Yeah, I'm, exactly. sure it, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Operation sure Meat <laughs> Shield. <laughs> exactly. So, we have the... The ones with the white bases around the perimeter, you see these are mi seemingly minions of, well, Rina, as it appears to be. Um, some archers, there's some, like, sword and shield people, and then some couple of big brutes. Uh, as you look around at them, they all appear to be somewhat malformed, like, almost zombie-like, but you do recognize this black ichor dripping from certain points. Very reminiscent of what you saw in the Scarlet Veilwood. Very reminiscent to what Bax and Volanda have seen in previous excursions. And as you all look back to the recently revealed Rena, she looks over to Bax and Volanda eyes fixed. Bax and Valanda. I see you are still slaves of destiny. What a pity it is. It truly is to see the sheer ignorance. Well, today I will bring you some much needed perspective. Not just for you, but Everyone here. All of Rodania for that matter. And you see, like, Kego at the front who's sort of like shielding T Bold. Sort of like clenches his fist a little bit. And as he does, Rena immediately looks over at Kego. Says, ah, 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 now, now, now. Before anyone decides to do anything rash, take any sudden actions, please bear in mind you are entirely surrounded and a lot of these innocent people of the villain look rather delicate shall we say and then just starts laughing looking towards you um, any any anyone would like to do anything at this point in time I, any secret yeah. plans to enter I, 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 Leaning over to Zul. Yeah. Say, so, contact my I, father. I want I, to be sure. I, yeah. I'm going to, like, as soon as she's like that, I'm going to try and, like, as if as if scared, lean into Yavis. And as I lean into Yavis, and it, I mean, it looked like I'm saying something to Yavis, but I, as I'm doing it, I'm pulling something from my sleeve, which is a nice copper piece of wire, and I'm going to say to Yavis, but not actually to Yavis, but instead to a certain father that we met before. Okay. Mate, hey. First of all, first of all, yeah. uh, give me a... Let's call this sleight of hand. Okay. Ooh. Not terrible at that, but not great. Sleight of hand. Ah, it should be... Uh, 17? It should be... 17. Okay. okay. Sure, it's fine. Good to know. Sure, it's fine. <laughs> sure, it's fine. <laughs> and as I'm going to say, looking at him speaking to Yavis, so he'll, Yavis will hear this. I will like, hey, it's Zul. You met me a few days ago with Belanda. Been much longer. Are you okay? Where are you? Please reply to this message right now. Hurry! Please! You wait a few moments for a response. You get the sense the message didn't go through. And then as you look back, you see... You notice that one of Rena's uh, hand that doesn't have the sword in it is raised up slightly. 
with a hand signal that you would recognise as a counterspell. When did she get counterspell? Joy. Oh, you for two minutes ago. For a long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when, I, when I suggested that plan. She just laughs well. and looks over at you. Was a good idea. And saying and says. <laughs> I suppose there's lots of daring people in the villain nowadays. Why do you run off and hide? Like the rest of the cattle. It will kind of slink edgily in closer to Yavis at that. Like, a little bit scared that someone was just instantly went poof and kind of spelled me so easily. I am skirting around to the other side of Bax Kasabi to try and put ten feet between me and anyone but Bax Kasabi. <laughs> which... Sorry, Patch, which are us? I can't, can't make it out. So, yeah. okay, let me zoom in a bit. Because I can zoom in. Zoom me zoom. Should be able to see now. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, so goodness. that is, that is oh, yeah, the, the five right. of you, along with Kego at the front and T-Bold behind him in the blue. Ah, yes. So I'm on the left there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so I guess I'm on the left now because I've leaned into Yavis. Yeah. Yeah, so... Because I kind of went... Well, you're, you're next to me already, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, am I? Is, it, is that me? I thought I was you are, right Yeah, now, you so. are next. Okay, I'm next. So, okay, cool. okay, so, you wanted to... What do you say, Bl Excuse me? Blanda, what do you want to do? I'm trying to skirt round to the other side of Bax Kasabi. Going round behind him, so it looks like I'm looking kind of afraid, but like a little bit further forward, so I'm not near whoever that other person is. Um, Rina and then has got eyes locked on you the whole time, and this brutish fellow turns towards you as well. Um, and me and Mr. Bax Kasabi are going to thunderstep right next to Rena, and she's already used her counter spell, so screw you! <laughs> Alright, cool. Between I mean, Rena and my father. It wasn't supposed to be a bait and switch, but it worked! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be a saving throw, I suspect. Is it? Uh, no, it doesn't hurt her. It hurts anyone who was in the space where I previously was, so which is leave. why I moved. Okay, so well, that saving guy throw the for the big right. guy. That's fine. And maybe that little peasant? No, I would have made sure no, to not be near the peasant. It'll just, it'll just be, specifically <laughs> said. It'll just, just be the big guy. <laughs> so, what kind of saving throw are we talking? Uh... On. Constitution saving throw. Ooh, that is a 19. Oh. Half damage. So is that it's, uh, half damage or no damage? Or? Uh, Double damage. See. I've not actually used this spell before. <laughs> Triple damage. I can't, well, I've used it before, but I can't remember. I will also say at this yeah. point, half. it's half damage. Okay, really damage. That's seventeen points reduced to by half. Seventeen reduced to be eight. What? Right. Okay. Okay. So as you step round the other side of Mr. Kasabi. Getting in the right place, as this creature sort of looks over to you and looks like it's considering striking out at you. <clears throat> there is a class, a clash of thunder, as you both suddenly appear right in front of Rena, in between her and your father, alongside Mr. Kasabi. And while the brute and reels I from this, I'd say now's the time to roll initiative. I, I also growled to her, I make my own destiny. Oh, and she laughs that. in response. Let's get some initiative, guys. You have you have initiated <laughs> combat. Twelve. Twelve. This shall be fine. Okay. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Nice. 
Fifteen for me. Natural twenty. First roll with the dice. <laughs> for a total of twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oof. Okay, I've got Volanda back to Bastia. Eighteen for me. Eighteen. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Well, for me. Okay, that's suddenly louder than I remember. Yeah. Yes, it comes <laughs> in soon to get it down a little bit. Sound skip. Sorry, I'm down a little bit. Turn it down. It's adjusting my volume. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think, I think sorry, my what was... sound skip volume's on about like. What was the Abyss's again? Five out of 18. Five out of 100. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, hey guys, now what? Now, now I, what, guys? Uh, yeah. Now, now what? Die. <laughs> now, die. now you wait for me to roll initiative for everyone else on the I mean, map. That's as far as our plan went. <laughs> Beat me to I it. mean, we have, we have one more bit. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. Well, Andy, you beat me to it. I was gonna, I was gonna jump in there as well, but. <laughs> What's your dex modifier? Plus two. Plus two. Okay. This is real interesting all of a sudden. Um, okay. Sorry, nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. <laughs> Free to just leave some of them out of the combat. Uh I mean some of these are, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, useful for I'll you guys. Be, we'll see so you leave out some of the enemies. All right, guys. <laughs> so, top of the round, we have Rena, who's matched Volanda but has a slightly higher depth modifier. Ah. Oof. Okay. Oof. Let's have a look. So. Oh, sorry, Badge. A bonus, a bonus rock kicked in. That makes it my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, young man. I think... You're Lara as well. <laughs> young. Man. Uh, all right. Let's start off this way. Um, Serena just, like smiles and looks at you and like puts a hand out and points at you um, and just says the word grovel and it sort of resonates in your mind as she casts command so I would like you to make a wisdom saving throw hang on I just realised I didn't roll my wild magic surge when I did my thunder step okay you can do that first Thank you for the best, yeah, I did. Hey, I see. did. You've searched. Okay, good to know. Thank you. For those of you at home who haven't seen us before, when Volando triggers while magic surges, I store them for a special moment. Just because it's more dramatic. I mean, this isn't a stored one, this is just a go off one. Ah, All right, okay. This is a nat one roll. <laughs> oh, okay then. Instant Let's do that first, then. Whatever. Okay. I'll, what I'll is going to happen? Because I was just about to do one to take advantage. But then I remembered I hadn't rolled my other one yet. Uh, let's find my table. God damn it. How's the volume for everyone at home? Is it all okay and even and nice and crisp and clean? No caffeine? Hey, Daisy. Daisy, welcome. You're all very welcome here. I'm glad you could join us. Pleasure, pleasure. Chris, Chris, thank you. All right. Excellent. 
I'm so okay. sad that the thing I printed broke because that would be the perfect time for this. Modron! <gasps> Modron! Oh my god, I don't... But I made, I did make a promise about this as well. Um, do I have something I can use as a, an emergency modron? Um, I thought you said you were prepared for everything, Patch. You lied. Uh, I'm gonna do what I did last time. I'm gonna use. To it. I'm gonna do what I did last time. This happened. I'm gonna use this little, uh, this little gnome, which my nephew painted. It's his character. Aww. His okay. name is Pickle. <gasps> So, <laughs> okay as, as the thunder step <laughs> happens, the um, Rina looks and sees Mr. Kasabi. Okay, yep, yeah, that tracks. Valanda, yep, yeah, okay. Modron? <laughs> there is a little Modron <laughs> who now looks around, and because I promised this the last time this would happen, after the demise of Uwu the Modron, in the yeah. finale of campaign one. Poor little Uwu. Thank you for the follow up <laughs> Um You now see Uwu's brother, Tuwu, appear oh God. on the battlefield. <laughs> What's going on? Oh! It looks very, very frightened. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then I'd like a wizard saving throw for you. And then. You're already like a wizard saving throw from me. I need, I need. Um. Stat block now for two woo. Do that now. Oh. Uh, that is a 21. Okay. Nice job. And I decided not to take advantage on it because. Another. You know. Alright, alright, okay, 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 okay. Alright, sorry, sorry Daph, your, uh, your Fireborn is in another castle. Yeah. <laughs> so, a dragonborn. As, as she points, she looks, she waits for the response. You, you seem to fight off the, the incantation. And, uh, she sort of smiles to herself. It's like, well, at least I see you've improved your skills. And then. Uh, <laughs> While this is happening, you start to see. Oh, do I have a mini for this? I don't think I do. Um, so prepared, guys. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm the I don't most know, prepared. I don't even know what you're talking about. I do. I can have. I have a thing I can use. Um, <laughs> sort of. Uh, so. As this is happening, and she's saying this to you, from behind you, you start to see a writhing black tentacle amass from the ground. Which a is then tentacle. going to lash out at you. For an 11, which I'm guessing does not hit. So you you just know my see, AC. You just see it out of the corner of your eye and manage to duck out of the way as it lunges at you. <laughs> um, and that will end Rena's turn, which brings us to Philanda. What would you like to do? Uh, <laughs> I hate oh, high shit. initiative. <laughs> I, didn't so roll much. I didn't roll initiative for Gerardus, hang on. Like, shit, na natural. Fine. Natural 20 for Giratus. Oh, man. <laughs> What's his okay. dex modifier? I don't Can know. I haven't first? made it. <laughs> Why? Why haven't you made it? I mean, you need to have nimble fingers in order to make great tea like that. It's fine. It's fine. I've got true. it. It's all good. Very true. Oh, boy. Um, uh. I guess I'll roll initiative for two woo as well. <laughs> all right. <laughs> More the merrier. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, I'll just manage them all. Well, okay. Oh, my what would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna put my Hexblade curse on her. Okay. So, hex 
Blades cuss. Ah, I've lost it. Hang on. Wait, wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. I'm such a pro DM, guys, honestly. Don't even worry. I'm bearing. Me. All the bear over here. Bear with me, please. I am. Yeah, there is. I, I, can't, I can't bear anymore. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, we'll just put this on. To signify the Hexblade's curse. Okay, Hexblade's curse. I'm a slasher with my sword. Shadow Katana comes out like the Dark Saber from Star Wars and you know, lash out. The true, King of the true Mandalore. Yes. This is the way. <laughs> Bitch. That's. <laughs> the way through you. Um... <laughs> the way that to read his is... heart is through the chest. <laughs> 20 to hit. A 20 to hit? That hits? Nice. Yeah, I couldn't remember what her armor class was. Um, now, which dice do I need? God damn it, why do I not have anything out? Oh, Jesus. Never... Go. Go. Hey, I have an excuse, I'm ill. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Thank you for making it. <laughs> but like, like, thank you. I honestly thought we were not gonna make it. Yeah. That's it. Trooper. 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 Uh, yeah. So. Oh my brain. What are all the different damage types? Uh, you've got like six damage types. <laughs> so that's nine slashing. No slashing. Nine. Oh, I thought you said no slashing. I was confused. <laughs> Semyon. <laughs> nine to slashing. Okay. Um, seven psychic. Okay. Two. Fire, and then whatever the extra four is Smorgas from the board of damage. Yeah. cocktail, yeah. And four <laughs> bullshit damage. <laughs> She's not a monk. She's not a monk. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Let's hope Rena's plot armor does not have any resistances. <laughs> Rude. She get plot armor. Plot armor. Plot armor. Bullshit damage. So, was there, what was the bonus damage? Uh, four. four. It just says you gain a plus four bonus to damage rolls against the first target. It doesn't specify a type uh, of that. Damage. Four just damage. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. That makes sense. All right. Good luck. So, yeah, your slash makes purchase. Um, you can see her wince ever so slightly, but she shrugs it off. Continues smiling at you. Just, just like, maintaining direct eye contact, not even blinking. Anything else? That's pretty much all I can do. Alright, cool. That brings us to Mr. Bax Kasabe. Would you like to do so? Mr. Bax Kasabe, we'll say. You disappear. And then you come back like this. And I would like to cast Moonbeam in such a way as to miss people we don't want to hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At uh, third level. Very please. careful, very careful, please. Ooh, do I? Good. Okay. As thing would be best spell. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. So that is. Is that on their turns? Or is it immediate? I never remember. Third turn, I think. It is, if it'll actually work, did it work? No, it didn't work. Let's try it again. Why isn't it working? I think it's now where they enter that space where it starts their turn there. It is uh, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time, 
on a turn or starts its turn there. Right, let's see if it'll actually let me cast it. Ah! There we go. Right, so what happened? And how what yes, was, what was the, the range of it, the, the thingy of it? The it is... Um, it is it's a, a, a five-foot five cylinder. 120 foot range, but it's a five foot cylinder. Easy enough. Five foot radius, so 10 feet across, isn't it? Right. Yeah. I now have uh, things for really measuring cool. distances. <laughs> oh, it's wow. That's very cool. A five foot radius, so yeah, it's 10 feet across. Okay. So, there is, as you say these words, um, and I mean, Rena is still looking directly at Valanda as this happens, but. You look up to the sky and the clouds begin to part and a moon a beam of moonlight emanates down over Rena as the spell is cast. Anything else, sir? Uh, no. Bonus. Talking I don't, is I don't know if I don't know if I've got anything I could I suppose I could move away. Or something like that. But I don't know if it'll make much difference, really. Take an opportunity attack if you do that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will. I will remain and see what occurs. Okay. We shall remain. That brings us to Gerardus. This is because he rolled a natural twenty. Um, <laughs> let me think of something real quick. I think. I mean, he's he's currently on the floor. Like, surrounded by Mr. Kasabi and Volander, and right in front of him there is now this black tentacle sticking out of the ground. So... Uh... Forgot about that tentacle. How could I forget about that tentacle? <laughs> was... Was there a concentration check when she was injured? That is a good question now. It depends what it is. It yeah. depends if it's just a flavoured spiritual weapon. Uh, it is she was a cleric, but she is probably a warlock in some way. She could be a dead cleric or a. It does not cleric, require cleric concentration. Uh, I think Gerardus at the moment is literally just going to use his entire turn just to sort of like hold on to Valanda's ankle. Not quite sure what to do. I don't think he's going to. I don't think he wants to get up because there's a big tentacle there, um, and that will do for him. He's he's waiting to see, like for an opening that he can get away. I think it would probably be his mindset. Which brings us to Yavis. Good sir. Damn it. Yavis will dash as we're looking at immediately to the left of the far left monster. Mm -hmm. But not like right not not in contact with it, just um like five feet away from it. A square between. in between, yeah? Um, but, like, to the side of it. Oh, to the side. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Oh, yes! I see yes. what you're doing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Go for it. And they're all in a very nice line there. So as he as he's rushing over there, he's pulling the javelin off his back, and it starts to crackle with lightning as he goes charging across... He spins in spots, he's like, You dare threaten a library! And just <laughs> hurls the lightning javelin down the line of them all there. Alright. So, javelin of lightning. So it aims to hit the last one, and if it does, and everything in the, in the path gets hit. Yep, so go ahead and roll for your spear. Uh, 23. 23. I'm going to say that hits. Excellent. So, con Thank save. you, Emma. Four. Uh, 
Uh, uh, dexterity saving throw, actually. A dexterity saving throw, okay. So yep. for the big guy... <coughs> okay, so the big guy gets a 19. And then the other three do not get a 19. They get... Um, a 12. Uh, it's, only, it's only the three in between. To make the deck straight. The guy at the end gets hit. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the, so... the guy on the far right, as we're looking at it, gets hit. Yes. And then the yeah. three in the middle have to make the save. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the the Annoying. the big guy, the first guy, makes a save. The other two do not. Yes. So, as, as I hurl the javelin, it changes into this bolt of lightning, just arcs and crackles between all of those three before sticking into the creature at the far end. Um, then... I'm just, uh, just double checking, sorry. Um, and then just yeah, just before it reaches the far one, it, it turns back into a javelin and crunches into it. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so it hits the three. Gets I thought I thought I only did the lightning on the three in between if I hit. But no, it hits, it hits those three. They have to make the save regardless. Yeah. And then, oh, and then if it hits the p person at the end, they get the javelin damage and the lightning damage. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So it's four d six. Not too shabby. That is eighteen. Eighteen lightning damage to all four of them. Okay. Plus. Um, eight piercing damage from the javelin on the, the last one. All right. <laughs> it's not for the university. For the library, Def. For the library. For the university. <laughs> Always for the university. Whether it's this campaign or not. Mame is life. I, I, am, I, am, I am a Mame stan. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, the... Uh, the... What? Oh, I'm, I'm going to take a page out of a Bree Iron Guys book. This is a cool moment. You describe to me how this takes effect. N no one's killed, but it's cool, so... <laughs> Damn it. Got my hopes up for a second. I was like, what? Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. So, yeah. The one at the end <laughs> looks rough. Excellent. It, certainly. So, yeah, they all yeah, they all spin towards me as I'm just going charging. Looking, like, probably slightly confused as I'm just not, I'm not charging towards them. I'm charging off, at the, off to the side. And then I just spin, and like the one closest to me looks nervous about the javelin. The others are just like, you know, mid shield, great. And but then it just like as it hurls and it leaves my poor, it transforms into this crackling, arcing bolt of electricity that just bridges, you know, just like you know, like cr across the gap is like <clears throat> leaping between all of them, going bursting in through the side of them, out the far side, branching over to the other one, hitting that one, and again down the line, and again down the line. And then the other one coming out, and he, and he braces himself for this electricity to hit, but it does. But also with the javelin re-emerging and materializing inside his chest, as the um, javelin thuds home, and then the electricity spreads across his um, the surface of his skin, and uh, yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> TLDR, fucked <laughs> him up. <laughs> TLDR, yes. Amazing. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yes, I have two attacks. Okay. <laughs> so. I close. I now close the distance of that one that's right beside me. I'm I don't like how you swing. see the bear I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> so used to it now, it's, it's scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, as I'm running over there, as my bonus action, I would like to rage. <laughs> okay. The glasses and come uh, come off. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just like running, like putting the you know, into the pocket and just charging. Is like for the library. And just rages over there, and um, let me get the uh, wild magic for you. Yes. Oh fuck yes! More wild magic. magic. I love it. Um, so that is a D8. Da -da -da. <laughs> Seven. So. <laughs> okay. Um, so as Yavis is charging, just like for the library. The ground underneath him, much like when that tentacle came, tentacle came surging up, starts to pitch and heave, and suddenly 
flowers and vines erupt from the ground within 15, no, 15 feet all around him, and it becomes um, difficult terrain. I've got something <laughs> for that. Yeah, for your enemies. Know. Only oh, for your nothing. enemies. Oh, that's nice. I was about to say that might actually hurt my plans. He's just going to okay. eat a handful of moss on the deck. Yes, I was yeah. right. Eating a handful ah. of moss. <laughs> Difficult it's terrain. <laughs> within fifteen feet, within fifteen feet of me, so all, all behind me as well. Okay. Good job. I've got plenty of it. <laughs> Library. <laughs> okay. So you just oh, see this. That was good. Just no. I, that was good. Back. <laughs> yeah. No, it was uh, Zalisha. <laughs> nice Zalisha. Oh, um, so yeah, you just see slow motion. It's just like. <laughs> And just like whoosh around him, and the flowers are waving. Some of them are being distorted. There are petals flying in the air in slow motion, and they just swirl and eddy around the great axe as it comes swinging around. And I'm trying to hit. Hang on. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Sorry. Multiple puns in one. Well done, Alicia. <laughs> so this is already one of my favourite sessions we've done. <laughs> <laughs> library, library. Yeah. <laughs> library. Um, 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 sorry. I, I hope that Yavis will appreciate what my action is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a, so yeah. I have an idea. Let's check that out. I don't okay. think you do. <laughs> I don't. I don't get advantage unless I go reckless, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Do I? Oh, it's only when you make your first attack, so I don't get it. Because I've already attacked with the javelin. Oh, of so I can't go reckless. I can't go reckless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Solid okay, yeah. so, sorry, excuse me. I am on the right page now. Uh, okay, great axe. Oh, not great. Um, <laughs> great, not great. Uh, 13. Standard axe. <laughs> 13. <laughs> the not great Regular axe. axe. Regular axe, regular axe. <laughs> A 13. Meets it, beats it. Yes! Okay. So that is a D12. Plus, I get extra from the raging. Okay. So, D12. Russia. That is 8. Plus. 6. So, 14. 14. Not bad. Slashing. How dare you! Yavis, <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead and take inspiration. <laughs> that was That's wonderful. On the library! I was worried he was going to make a search. <laughs> no, that's got to be, it's got to be a really good one for a search. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so. That brings us to Bastia Batu. Indeed, Bastia is a little bit late with her buffing, but she is going to go for it anyways. Seeing all this go down, she's going to immediately cast Bless okay. at third level, which will cover everybody. Nice, so you now nice. all have a, a d4 to add to your attack and saving throws. How do you bless us? What is your blessing? A panicked one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Be welcome. Just whispering frantically. <laughs> I'd say do fire. better. <laughs> Be welcome. Be welcome. Be welcome. Um, Did your bless include any of the uh, people fighting alongside you? Although I, I suppose can you, you wouldn't. Bless. You wouldn't necessarily know. I mean, you, you would assume probably that Kego was. Yeah, I mean, I'm limited to what I can do. I can bless up to three creatures at first level, um, and I want to be able to include the entire party, so I have to cast at third level. I only have one fourth level spell, so uh, okay. yeah, I can cover so up to six people, but I'd rather keep that for something else. So yeah, I'm afraid it's only the five of us. Um, and I would like to move closer to the action. Um, I don't really know exactly where that would be, but if I can get close to some of the people who are attacking my friends, I'd like to do so. I don't mind at all going right into the melee range. Um I'll put you there, then you've got a choice between the two. Okay, perfect. And as a bonus action, I'd like to cast Spiritual Weapon. 
Okay. Well, Thorn, what does your spiritual weapon, weapon take? I believe that it takes the form of, of so if Shim's into assistance, this impassive stone mask of a woman with three eyes. Um, oh. And whenever it takes damage, the eyes open mm. and they stare at the at whatever target I choose and arcane writing kind of appears in letters on their bodies and burns them for force oh, damage, I guess. But, cool. yeah. <laughs> so for the purposes of this, I shall use the transparent Bastia Mini. Okay, where perfect. Is it, where is it going to appear? Um, where, there's one that was looking kind of rough, wasn't there? Um, uh, the, yes, the one at the end here. Yes, I would like to summon my stone mask right next to them and have it just look down on the group above and do some damage. Alright. Which is going to be... What is it going to be? Um, plus nine to hit. So, 22, does that hit? 22 definitely hits. Yay! Okay, so that's 1d8 plus four. Oh, uh, that's not great, but seven force damage. Seven force damage. Not bad. You can see that it's yeah, quite freaked like out by this <laughs> thing that has just appeared in front of it. <laughs> nice. That was okay. the ended effect. <laughs> uh, that's the end of your turn. That brings us to the archers up on the wall. Shit. Who, seeing everything that's happening... They're going to go ahead and just shoot into the crowd. Um, okay. Dirty. Filthy rotten arches. Okay. Um, so... Why are these squishy people out here? <laughs> Why did they come outside? Because everyone rushed outside to see what the commotion was. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then they I saw it was back inside. <laughs> I was regretting it. Uh, you see them open fire and... I thought they were monks. No, there were some... The, some of them are monks. Uh, and some of them are just librarians. And unfortunately six of them have just been shot down. Uh, at this point, the though, didn't the, rest, want to have done that. the rest of the crowd begins to retreat indoors. So for the purposes of that, I will remove those people from the battlefield. Oh, no, no, I believe that more people can take the shots instead of us. <laughs> well, we will need librarians at some point, so it best if they still exist. I mean, we've got one here, it's fine. Well, yes, we do. We do. <laughs> you do notice that T-Bold does not go. T-Bold stays. Um, For the library! <laughs> and that brings us to... Zul. Zul is going to see all the arrows coming in around him. Like, just dodging out of them, like, shitting himself. It's going to do that kind of, like, pop scarper, because he's, like, with his, um, little Probably fader legs. more intense. Gonna, like, <laughs> look at it, and then leap towards the left of the camera and try, like, behind Yavis. Kind of, like, kind of keeping his back to the cliff so we can avoid the two that are above him. And kind of be, yeah, roughly around there, but, like, back right against the cliff. But as he's right. doing it, um, as he's running, um, He's going to pull out a long, soft-looking material that's um, a long stick of what looked like candy, and just uh, and then just throw it at Yavis, and it's going to smack him on the head. It's a piece of licorice, and he's suddenly going to become hasted. <laughs> I'm casting haste on All Yavis. Alright. Okay. Oh, it's a pain. <laughs> it says licorice shoot, but. Root, but I think the idea of just like licorice in the sweet being funnier. <laughs> yep. Can he catch it in his Absolutely. mouth like he did the toast last time? Oh, yeah. So oh, oh, Yavis, oh, oh, eat, eat, some, the eat some licorice. You're not you when you're raging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Zul has Yavis. two types of magic gravity and food. Yes. 
food magic, the best wizard school. Uh, Yavis, you were yep. hasted. <laughs> Remind me what that does. Uh, that okay, means... I will speed it out for you. Oh, Sorry. You, um, you are... Uh, until the yep. end spell ends, you have double speed, you have two extra AC, Ooh. and you have an advantage on dexterity saving throws, and you get an extra action on each of your turns. So it means that if you swing, you can swing four times. Hell, fire. Yep. Uh, ah, sorry, three times. It's only one attack with the extra action. Mm. Right. So, so good. Uh, little, with little the extra here. action, we'll you, can, <laughs> you can attack once, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Yeah. So, little tip for you, for those of you at home. If you have a monk or a barbarian in your party, it's probably a good idea to haste them. Okay. Oh, Anything else? I'm going to use the extra action and try and hide in all the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Zul? Uh, that is. Okay, that brings us to T Bold. Who is very weak, but god damn it, he's invested in this. I'm thinking Come of training himself up T-Bold. a little bit since he Show died last. <laughs> oh, he did! Like, because he was just a guy when he died. <laughs> he's not now. You also think he would have taken his amulet of health back. The ironic I think he kind of needs it. The, the ironic thing is, in regards to this initiative, he is faster than a monk. <laughs> <laughs> so he steps forward a little bit, looking over at Rena, uh, who last he saw, he had just given that amulet of health to as a wedding proposal gift. And then she gave it away. And now he's looking Very next day. slightly heartbroken as he has seemingly become evil. And he cries out, Frida! Let me help you! He knew us for like a day! <laughs> he has problems! Whatever. Whatever corruption's <laughs> taken you, I'll help you! Uh, and he is going to... Well, first of all, you see him lift his hand, and this ethereal spellbook appears floating above his hand. Um, and as he reads from it, he is going to go ahead and... Uh, just fucking die. I mean, he might. <laughs> uh, now he's going to play it safe. He's going to just cast a magic missile. So... Uh, just one. It's just no, single you get, magic you get, missile. You get three in a go, don't you? <laughs> so that but this is too bold. <laughs> he should have one. Yavis, um, Patch, Yavis is going to point to that one on the right, on top of the, on top of the boulder, the archer. Uh -huh. He's like, he's like, get that one! He's, he's not paying attention at the minute, he's transfixed. Um, so, he does 12 points. The force damage, he did really well on that. Um, as the magic missiles clash into Vrina's armour, she doesn't even react. And he just sort of stands there, like, hand raised, not really knowing what to do. Which ends his turn, and brings us to, for the first time in a long time, Kego arrives on the scene. Hey! So first things first, he's gonna look over at Rena, he's gonna say, hey, Rena, there's like six of us, wait, and he looks at T-Bolt. Six and a half of us. And more of you. Why don't you get some more men and come back and then maybe it'll be a fair fight. <laughs> uh, he's gonna... Leap over with, like, like for those of you who have not seen Kego in combat before, there's this weird, like, fluidity to his movement. Um... It, like, the way he moves, it looks as if he shouldn't be able to land a single punch on anything. 
but such is the way of the drunken master monk. Uh, and he is going to unleash on the big guy over there. So, that's a natural 19, so that definitely hits. And it's going to be, this is me figuring out how monks work. Uh, it would help if I looked at the right character sheet. <laughs> Professional. Make oh, yeah. question Absolutely. the lines. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Uh, which one is that one? That is that one. Okay. So. Uh, so that's going to be eleven points on the first hit. Stunning strike, because he's going to spend a key point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this. I've never played a monk before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy myself right now. Um, it is fun. I really want to play a monk. I have a monk built, like the, built the in ancestral mind. dragon milk in the new book. Yeah, that's new. just announced. Yeah, I new still options need to coming. That. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I really want to run the, um, the Drake Warden Ranger. It looks so cool. See what I wrote about Fatari. She's she was that's what she was. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if monks sleep one above the other in monk beds. <laughs> monk beds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first attack, stunning that's strike. Be a wild action. Is successful. Uh, so, since that was fine, he's going to move straight over. This one in the middle, and same again for another one, which is going to be uh, unnatural 19, but that will still hit. It's going to be same again, 11 damage with a stunning strike. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Where's my pen? Jimmy. Shimmy strike. <laughs> I lost my pen! Nobody tell him if you see it. I will kill you all. I Oh god, right, okay. <laughs> I have no idea where I put it. Oh no! Can't it's, I have it right here. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <coughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's fine. And then this one takes the same. And then a save. Natural 20 makes a save. So he is not stunned. So. Another key point, flurry of blows, because why not? We're here. Let's do this. Uh, that is a 21. That will hit for 9 damage. Uh, and that's then... what, um, Daff, that's what our monk is in uh, Out of the Abyss. <laughs> Where, mercy. That will definitely hit. Um, uh, Gotta bring back the Christmas one shot crow again so I can be Amara. So much fun. And, and you see, the yeah, Amara's a great build. So, you <laughs> see him leash out this flurry of blows, um, and this creature in the middle. Nice! Just crumples to the floor. Oof. And he uses the rest of his turn to just stare down Rena, looking pissed off. Which is going to end that, which brings us to... Well, it would have been him and his cronies, so... The ones that are left... Uh... Alright, the first one's going to slash at the spiritual weapon, because it doesn't know what the hell it is. That's a natural one, so we'll forget that even happened. <coughs> the other one... Is going to slash... I right at... through the eye! It doesn't do yeah. anything. It's like... Uh... <laughs> The eye just sort of goes. Which one? You guys don't choose from. <laughs> and then the other one is going to lash out at Bastia. That's a natural three. So again, they are a bit. They are very perturbed right now. They're not able to land the blow. It's all the grass. The I would high five my weapon, but there, there are no hands to high five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, which brings us to probably the most crucial point of this entire battle. It is now Two Woo's turn. Ah, yes. What is Two Woo going to do? Woo. 
He's gonna look up at Volander. Uh, I'm too woo. And then looks over at Rena. You don't look very nice. And he's gonna lash out with a dagger. Come on. Spill the beans. Guys, if you've got them, spam them in the chat. <laughs> Two who gets a natural 20. Hey! Yes! <laughs> It'd be great if it did any damage. Oh if my it God. did, like, it's gonna do. <laughs> so cute! Do... Hang on. My sweet little baby margarine. Oh, there, Michael. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Two points of damage doubled to four. Four points of damage to Rena, yeah. and with that, oh, Rena is slain. Oh, <laughs> slain. That's all we needed. Already done better than his brother, who died instantly. Oh, yes, the Phoenix. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you Eventually. knew my brother? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think the Modron has any uh, any extra uh, kin. <laughs> well, it definitely doesn't have any next of kin. Ah. It has a higher AC than I expected, but oh, it's health. In fact, no, I'm going to roll for its health just to make it even more interesting. Oh, I shouldn't have rolled for its health. Okay. You rolled a one, didn't you? Two has, two, two has a maximum of two hit points. Two woo. Which makes it even better because his name's Two Woo. It's appropriate. <laughs> this, this, this session is wonderful. Okay. So finishing that, <laughs> it brings us to the big guy's turns. One of them is stunned, so he can't do shit. Uh, the other one, who is currently on difficult terrain, being mauled by this barbarian. Uh, do, 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 do. He is going to attempt to hit you with his equally large great axe. Um, gonna roll a five. So he just he, he tries to swing at you and the uh, your 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 agility uh, dodging out of the way just means he just cuts some of the, the vines and the plants that are now surrounding him. Uh, and he's gonna use the rest of his turn to just sort of like go <sighs> at you. Uh, which brings us to play his life choices. Yeah. Which brings us back to the top of the round. So at this point, because this is how this session seems to be going, uh, I'm going to pick someone in chat to roll me a wild magic search. Why? Why not? Why do you do this? In fact, Bardic Song, are you still here? My dear friend, if you are still here, please type in the chat, exclamation mark, surge. Because this will be amazing. Watching the chat with the uh, bated yeah. breath. <laughs> Anticipation. Radic. Exclamation mark. Message so. You do this to us. <laughs> uh, Anything? Still here? I might, might be lurking. It says that there, but... Okay. Um, in that case, how about... Uh, Aftermath, are you still there? If you are still there, type exclamation mark search in the chat for me, please. Oh, the Avernus Rock builds. This is exactly what we want. I do love the Avernus Rock. <laughs> so good. Oh no, is everybody it's, lurking? It's, 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 it reminds me of Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Yeah. Oh, that is such a good soundtrack. I wonder yeah. if any of I wonder if any of that's usable. Oh, you I can, mean, me you, can always e you can email them. I might just. Like, hey, that. do you mind? It's Frank, it's Frank, Frank Klopaki. Klopaki. Surely at this stage. Klop yeah. I mean, yeah. should be all right. I mean, they and did West they did Red Alert three, so yeah. They, they did recently re released all the Command and Conquerors. Okay. That's what's in that studio anymore. Probably okay. <laughs> oh, we've got more looks. Okay, so um, all right, Daffy. Daffy, Daffy. Okay, that's impressive. you are active in the chat. Will you type exclamation mark surge for me, please? Always good to see you, Daff. Yes. You are always reliable. 
I lived in a cake. For how long? <laughs> For many What happened? Change. Yes. Why did you move Shit. out? <laughs> did you get eaten? The cake is a lie. <laughs> someone someone dropped up and ate his house. <laughs> Oh, there oh. we go! Ooh, With a stage of 80. 80. Roll of 80, right. Mm. Okay. 80 feels like a nice number. 80's a nice <laughs> number. See. Everyone likes the number 80. 80 never does any bad promising. things. <laughs> okay. The audio was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> tracks, <laughs> tracks. Alright. Uh, I like the idea that they're lurking from a place that was a cake. Okay. Mm. I should really it's now just a what, pile of crumbs. What I should do is roll to see who this affects, affects. But because of the nature of this, I have to say it's Yavis. So Yavis, hey. with an eighty, static electricity fills you for the next minute. Within ten feet of you, hairs stand on their ends, and feather-like <laughs> objects slowly cling to you. So you just see a very fuzzy bear. You <laughs> don't. Have shot <laughs> the librarians! <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I was already standing on end, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All this boss that you summoned is slowly, uh, like, all the, all the flowers are slowly, like, coming towards him. Yeah, leaves. <laughs> leaves. <laughs> so I stick a deep face. Uh, what's, that, what's that thing that you, the white one that you blow? And it's dandelion like, clock. Dandelion, yeah, it's just like lots of dandelions just, like, <laughs> sticking to him. Oh boy. Okay. So, <laughs> top of the round, we're back to we are back to Rena. <laughs> a tiny sock. Very good. Back to Rena, right? Well, the moonbeam's gonna have to take its effect then, isn't it? It is. So, is that a save? It's it a, a Constitution save. saving throw. Constitution saving that... throw. And we've got a thirteen. You got a thirteen, right? Well, uh, it's a con sixteen. So uh -huh. that is yeah. the full damage, I believe. 3d10 radiant damage on a failed All save. Right. Throw you, nice. Roll your 3d10 damage. And the so it's 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 a it's a they revert the. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all of us jumped on that instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is. Shape shifter! A 3, a 4, and a 6 for a total of 13. 13, okay. Radiant damage. And uh, let's see, what else do we do? Better than the healing damage. Uh, a shape changer makes it saving throw with disadvantage if it fails, it also reverts. I don't think they're a shape changer though, are they, this time? Don't seem to lose any form. <laughs> no, so, just the radiant damage, yeah. I, I didn't actually think that this was a shape changer situation. It was worth again. checking, that was very important to check. Now we know for sure. And also just yeah. a good salt spell anyway. Mm. Especially, yeah, worth yeah. checking with extra damage on the side. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, my spell Mold originally that I used it that got countered, even if I'd got it and it was, oh yeah, I'm lying in the ground in front of you, you maniac. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what I will say before Rena takes her turn, um, Bax and Valanda, make a quick perception check for me. Oh, no, actually, make, make it, not perception, insight. Make a quick insight check for me. Insight. I think that's better for me. 23. Hmm. Nice to see. 23. Okay. Um, as the moonbeam sort of takes effect and you see her wince, you both for a split second see, like for a fraction of a second, see Rena's expression change to one of absolute fear and then immediately like shuts her eyes and is back to the the glare. Uh, do we have to save her? Uh. <laughs> 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 my Averna slot. <laughs> Fire and brimstone. Nonetheless, it is now. Max is there already. Arena's turn. I'm floppy. And let's have a look. Again, with the food magic. Zul's specialty. <laughs> <laughs> so, do not flambe the allies, Zul. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so. Reno looks at you both and says, Oh, well, if that's how you're going to play. Okay. And you start to see, uh, like, shadows begin to amass around her body, almost like flames. Um, and she becomes, like, heavily obscured. And 
the light around her begins to dim. And... Uh, what is the other thing? Yeah. And then, as a bonus, she is going to try and lash out with her tentacle again, because it's still there and I just remembered. Again, <laughs> not not going to hit. Forget it even happened. Yo. Uh, Valanda. Uh, can I incite my father? Yeah, if you like. What are you inciting? <laughs> Hatred. <laughs> <laughs> Like, whether it's him, it doesn't make sense for him to be here in this time frame. Okay. I can inside check. That's only a 12. 12. I mean, it looks like him. It certainly looks like he's. It certainly looks right now as if he does not want to be here. You don't see anything that looks <laughs> out of the ordinary. Okay, I'm going you do, to... You do have that thought in your mind. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was Elvis. That was Elvis. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that rage is getting a bit much. Just a bit. The difference between Yavis and that car was that the car has all mouth and no trousers. And the car is not fuzzy right now. And it's not fuzzy, and neither is its windscreen wiper standing on end. <laughs> it does have a car. It does have a car bar barrier. Oh, <laughs> a car barrier. Oh my god! <laughs> I already gave you inspiration. I'm not giving you it again. <laughs> How far is it to the door of the library? Um, it is. It's about sixty feet or so. Okay, I'm gonna slash at her. Okay. With all my dice. <laughs> all your dice. And that definitely doesn't hit because that was three. Unless her heavy armor can not withstand a delicious 12. <laughs> um, I'm afraid it does not hit. I mean, no. the reason it didn't hit is because I'm the food magic specialist. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then. <laughs> I am going to take my father and I'm going to thunder step over to the door of the library. Okay. So, first of all. That's a con 17 for everyone within 10 feet of me. First. I'm sure, she's going to counterspell it. Now, first of all. Uh, I've just lost the thing that I had up. Hang on, one second. Are you going to counterspell it? Is she, is she really? We'll, we'll, we'll come to that. There's something else mm. first. <clears throat> so as you you lash out, screw me over already. As you lash out with the attack, uh, it makes contact with the armor, then is pushed back by these shadows, which then lash out at you, uh, doing. You take eight necrotic damage as these. Is that three... halved because of my resistance or? Um, does not say. Well, did you half it? Which I'm guessing. Oh, no, I, oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't have it. So yeah, you, you take four. Sorry, I misunderstood what you said. Then. Um, and yeah, she's gonna try and counter spell. She might as well. Counter spell. Um, I can't spell the counter spell. Oh good, you got there before me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, what? Well, why didn't we do that for the last one? Why did? Because <laughs> I couldn't counter spell my own <laughs> my spell that was being countered. Because I was concentrating but on the spell. Why didn't I think of it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've not had so, counter spell very long. What level are you going to counter counter spell? I'm going to do it level three. Okay, go ahead and roll. What level of eight? What? Oh, then you roll. <laughs> it means their count is spelling at a higher level than three. 
And that's plus my spellcasting modifier? Uh, yes, I believe so. Which is a 9. So that's a 9 plus 9, that's an 18. An 18? Zul's counter spell is sufficient enough. The thunder yes! goes ahead. Counter spell has been counter spelled. Nice. Right. Now roll a con save for everyone within 10 feet of me, please. <laughs> you bitch. So that is. <laughs> Wizard okay, battle. So, so that's Rena, Bax, and. Two Woo. So Bax. Right. Con, uh, con, con save. save. You did this, Lucia. Uh, I did not do well. <laughs> Okay, Rena gets a 13. I got a 10. Two Woo gets... Where's his stats? I think he's dead either way. There's Two no way he's going to take. Two Woo gets a 19. He's oh, still right. dying. I mean, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's 13 damage. 13, okay, cool. So, let's just cross that out there. Well, I'm, I, we can't wait for three Woo. Oh, actually, they will. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, do you make your con save, Bax? I did. Oh, I, got, I, I rolled. <laughs> sorry, I rolled. A, I rolled a seven plus three, which is ten. Okay, so, so that's take, not very good. You, yeah, you take thirteen damage. As so, you're Go. thunder stepping away with your father. Yeah, right up to the door. So I called Joe. Inside. Joe freed me up this morning. Everyone, my my five year old freaked out this morning. I gave him a thumbs up, and he's like, "Oh, like the robot into the magma." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> the, the liquid hot magma. How do you know Terminator? <laughs> Two who comes off the playing field. Oh. This time it was my fault. Going on the list, Rolanda. <laughs> Going on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of collateral damage. Speaking of which. Well, it's here. No one this time. Oh, okay, cool. You whisk your, whisk your father away and then fireball him at the other end. <laughs> oh god, please no. And, uh, <laughs> that would be so good. That would be poetry. So as, you, no. as you thunderstep away, um, you arrive at the the front entrance. Um, takes a second or so for Gerardus just to realise what's happened. Looks up at you and you can see that there is a look of insane gratitude on his tear-stained face at this point. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I'm guessing that's it. No, I'm going to sprint back towards the battle. <laughs> okay. What's your movement? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet, so... Get in the door, I should have given a swift kick at the, at, through the door. You get right up I mean, I imagine table. that I do. <laughs> I don't think it counts as hydrating if I use whiskey. No, but that is the best. <laughs> That's enough. So, That's there was water used at some channel. point in the process? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's some water in it. Yeah. Water somewhere. There are, yeah, there's ice cubes in it, so... Well, there you, well, go. There you go. There you go, perfect. It's delayed All hydration. Right. Back to Sabi. Hello. Your head's a bit fuzzy because you just got shocked. Yeah. Uh, but now you stand alone facing Rena. Yes, I do. Uh, that is. I take it she's in melee range then. She is indeed. Right. Well, I'll just give it. I'll just give a flipping whack with the old uh, the Direwolf's ruin then. Yes. You Seems I am there. Your golden scimitar. Somehow that sounds wrong. Uh, right. That's a 16 to hit. A 16 to hit, unfortunately, does not hit. Uh, right. She's able to sort of parry it away. And as she does, you do get a bit of Is a. Is everybody blessing. rolling their bless? Oh, oh, oh shit, yeah, you've all got bless. You get a d4. So add a d4 to that. Yeah. So you know, it's all 20 then. And me rolls. Was that a d4? Or did you just add four? Yep. Yeah, I just added four. Yeah. No, you roll a D4. Ah, oh, yeah. God, it's going to be a one then, isn't it? There's, there's not a four on a D4. We've established that already, haven't we? <laughs> Sometimes, if you're really lucky. I don't even remember saying it. 
I rolled a two, so that's um, that's eighteen to hit then. Eighteen just misses. Damn it. Ooh, so those. But as 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 you, she has to parry it with the blade in her hand. And at this point, you do get a closer look at it, and you do recognise it looks just like Dragon's Bane, but it has this weird like black ichor all over mm. it. Like it's messed up. It's demons. The same kind of black ichor you see on some of these creatures. Mm. Anything else, sir? I'll say it's Dragon's Bane, but different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Noted. <laughs> Alex Z Zul, and, uh, uh, Bastia, and uh, Yavis is like, the fuck's a Dragon's Bane? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you say that? <laughs> a sword! <laughs> um, right, uh, so, somewhere, in Berthy, sword sword somewhere in Berthy, Phyllis's sword. ears prick up. A sword? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any movement left now, after that? Yeah, you've got all your movement. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get, get the feck over towards the, uh, towards the, uh, the difficult terrain that's not difficult for me, then. You would take an attack of opportunity from Reno if you do. Ah, oh, balls, um, right, well, forget about it then. Well, you could do, you just you might get a slash from a, a, drag, a corrupted dragon's bait. <laughs> Alright, sod it, let's do it. Fine. You want to go for it? Okay. <laughs> so, do you want to move into here? Yes. Come. Come to the middle with me, Bex. It's probably yes. going to fall over, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, so as you do... Come, my druid, come, you, come, my druid. You have swords <laughs> like, locked against each other and you un unlock your sword and turn to run away and she goes to slash at you as you do um Ooh, okay um that is a 15 you miss so you just managed you're just that little bit too quick you feel like the back of your cape just gets like just a nick from from the edge of the sword <laughs> um but yeah you managed to get away Get off me, <laughs> Okay, that brings right. us to Gerardus. Um, I think Gerardus will, at this point, stand up and... Um, I think he's going to run inside, because he's surrounded by... I like how you bodies. acted like that was a difficult decision. <laughs> You don't well, have a well, character well, sheet for him. No, my, my, initial, my initial thought was he would want to check that the people full of arrows are actually dead. But then I was like, no, there's archers still there. So he would probably try and escape. So, yeah. Give me just one moment. Gerardus runs into the library. <clears throat> Which will take him out of play. Which brings us to Yavis. It just turns at this one that's facing yeah, up against it's like, You have not shot any librarians. They have. Wait there. So <laughs> Misty steps up onto the, uh, where the archers are. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn it. Like, between them. Can I go between them? So I'm going to them. Yeah. It's a bit precarious. And then just yeah. starts spinning around with his great axe with um, going reckless. All with right. a hasted extra attack, so I've got uh, three attacks. Go for it. First attack on the one nearest the library. That is... 24. 24 hits. Sure. Yay. <coughs> just, just. Uh, 12 damage. 12 damage. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Next one. Okay, second attack against that same guy, if he's just away. He is. That is... Um, yeah, 25. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and... Three attacks. Yeah, yeah. So that is nine slashing. Nine slashing. Okay. Still up, just... just... Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> um... <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so then third attack. Um, ooh, that's only 17. A 17, still gonna hit. Yay. 
That's uh, 11 slashing. That will do it. Yeah. Beefy archers. Archers are supposed to be squishy. Mm. <laughs> Tell me you just golf swing him off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, third, the third and final attack just like goes to the, the flat, flat of the axe. It's like smack. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh! Okay. That end your turn? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, unfortunately. That will bring us to Bastia. Okay. So can you clarify for me how many enemies are left within range of where I can get to them? So you have um, one directly. Is there anyone around I could... You have one directly in front um, of you. There is one directly, okay. directly in front of your spirit guardian as well. Okay. Um, the one that the Avis was fighting is about 15 feet away from you. And then there is another one further away, and then there's the archers at the back, and we're in the front. Okay. Is there anyone I could do a sneak attack on? Um, if not, it's not a problem with a backup plan. But I've done this yet, really, so. The monk is currently engaged with someone. Can I go over him then? Oh wait, like, oh wait, is that swashbuckler that gets the an ally? I think that needs to be a swashbuckler. Yeah, that's the swashbuckler thing. Yeah. I remember yeah. that from Frost Maiden. That came up. Um, no spoilers. That's not a spoiler. It's not a plot drop. It's not a law reveal. <laughs> I'm just worried. Don't say um, anything. Just is it? Ooh. No. Goody. <laughs> Don't okay, that's fine. I'll do something yeah, else this turn. That's fine. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go for the one that my weapon is attacking, and I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead. Okay. Which I believe is 2d12. Oh. Alright. Oh, and it's a Wisdom 17 saving throw. Natural 17. Okay. Alright. So he takes half damage, which is still going to be 8 points of necrotic. 8 points of necrotic damage. Okay, he's looking real rough. Okay, my spirit weapon is going to give a swing. Yeah. Does a 28 hit? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, um, so that's going to be an additional 8 points of force damage. And with that, another is defeated. I think that's all I can do this turn. It's rough, Max. Okay, that brings us to the archers, who now have a new target in sight. So, the one from far away is going to attempt to shoot Yavis. And with a nat one, I'm going to say he hits. It's the friend. His friend. <laughs> Because yeah. that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think Yavis just like, um, with his hasted action, just like brings him around in front. <laughs> and that's gonna be. Uh, da, 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 da. I hear that, man. Yeah, so you see, it fights, it fires this, this arrow right across the, the sort of. I don't know what you call it, the ravine? I don't know. And then, uh, unfortunately, hits its comrade in the shoulder, who sort of leaps back and goes, "They wait!" And then uh, that one is just going to pull out a dagger and attempt to stab you, because you're right there, and that is a six. So he, he goes to, ah. uh, yeah, you just bat it away. <laughs> <coughs> hey, banana! Welcome to the stream. All right. And that'll do it for the archers. Zool! Zool, 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 it is your turn. Well, my plan, original plan, is gone because Yavis is up there now. I intended to pull them all <laughs> off the mountain. Uh, so, Yavis will just put his fingers in his mouth and whistle really, really loud, loudly. Yeah, we'll see Zul. No, uh, sorry, Zul. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Zul will put his fingers in and whistle really loudly. 
<laughs> as far as everyone else is concerned, nothing happens. Okay. And I will tell you when something happens. I have cast right. a spell though. That oh. only has well, that's um, cool. But I have whistled. And nothing cool, has cool. happened. Okay. Alright. I will send you a message to the so that you know what's happening. Um <laughs> Zul Zul, shout, you can shout out and like, you, you can speak off out of turn. Like shout out and say, Yeah, but stay there, I'll bring them to you or something like that. Yeah, well, no, it's like I was going to knock them off, yeah. But I, it was only after you did it that I realised I hadn't said anything. <laughs> right, right. Because uh, I can magic missile turn? knock them off. Uh, cool. Nope, that's me. Alright, that will bring us to T-Bold. The uh -huh. tank of the, the party, clearly. Hey, what? Uh, Excuse me. Rude. Um... <laughs> Barely five foot tall. Okay, message received and understood. <laughs> uh, the, the enemies don't know it's there either, so it's fine. Nobody knows. Right. Nobody knows. Do I notice anything? <laughs> you don't uh, uh, no, you don't. Actually, even you don't even feel quivers. <laughs> it's not gravity magic. Really? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I'm happy for that for my sake. <laughs> So, uh, T-Bolt, not going to do much on his turn because he's very much outclassed. He's going to see that Valanda is running past at this moment. And as you go past, you feel him, like, tap you on the arm as he says, Free her from this corruption! Uh, and he's going to go ahead and cast Intellect Fortress on you. So, you now have resistance to psychic damage... And you have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Oh, well, that's cool. Excellent. So that should assist you. Uh, and then bonus action, he's just going to cry. No, that's free action. Crying is free action. <laughs> <laughs> he cries a lot, maybe. Bonus action, he's just going to regret. <laughs> <laughs> Such a sweet, sad boy. You're getting sort of free action? <laughs> All right. That no, brings... it takes a lot of time. It does. <laughs> that brings us to Kego. Okay. All right, Kego, what you got for us? Well, he's going to go back to this guy, and he's going to attempt to finish him off. Two hits. That's a natural 20. Okay, Oof. let's do this. That's a natural 20 for a total of a lot. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Many. Uh, yeah. He's just gone. He's flat out gone. <laughs> okay. Boy. I like monks. And um, are you gonna I just know, like I... run up the fucking hill or something ridiculous that monks can do? <laughs> you, you fucking mind reader. I was just, <laughs> just considering that exact thing. He's a monk. I like trains meme. I you like are extraordinarily yeah. predictable. Uh, well, yeah, you say that. Um, does he have that monk thing where he can just like yeah. he doesn't roll for he things? Should be high enough level. He can just do it. Okay. Yeah. That's every monk, I think. Yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna. Nope. Ah. <laughs> he's been sober for a year. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he fell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Second attack. Natural 18, so it hits. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, ooh, okay. And that is that guy. Okay. And then spend a key point. Flurry of blows. Let's kill this guy. Um, that's a hit. And that is a hit. They both hit. Cool, cool, cool. For... He's still up. He took a lot of damage, but he's still up. I can't do anything else. I don't think. No. Two attacks, flurry of blows. I don't think you can spend more key points to hit again, can you? Not unless the, you've got the Matt Mercer special bullshit. Yeah. It's, it's not a Cobalt Soul, monk. <laughs> okay. 
that'll do it for Kego. He just stands there it's and this, 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 get my reactions back. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this archer now looks very, very mortally wounded. Uh, but it's now their turn. So, is it? No, they've already had their turn. Oh, no, they shot. Okay. They shot oh, yeah, before. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's the big guys then. No, it's 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 the guy who is facing off against uh, Bastion, who is on his lonesome now. Just him and one of the big guys. So. Hey, bro. Alone with Bastion, a terrifying place to be. <laughs> She is actually very nice. She just doesn't look like it at all and has plus 10 to intimidation. It's not her fault. <laughs> Lashes out at you. Doesn't hit. Because you have a nice AC higher than 7. So... And the reason it, it doesn't is. hit, it is. I'm going to say the reason it doesn't hit is as he starts to swing, all he hears is... <laughs> like really loudly right behind him. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he this missed. Is... Yep. Very, very strange noise coming from behind him. Puts him off. Okay. <laughs> that brings us to the brute person. Big boy. Who is looking up at Yavis. Feeling kind of dejected, really, because, you know, he was he was fighting. <laughs> and now he's, he's, he's run away. He's run away from me. <laughs> oh, we, I'm not going to have that. Not at all. Um... Just because it's funny, I'm going to have him throw his great axe at Yavis and attempt to make a ranged attack at disadvantage. Another one. Another one. Another one. It's a natural two with disadvantage, so... Ooh, close. So close. <laughs> he has been disarmed, at least. It just clatters. It actually lands next to Zool. <laughs> So yeah, there's and a Yavis, so Yavis, Yavis, like, he's all yours, so! <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, hyperventilating from down below. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brings us back to the top of the round. Let's, let's, let's have another one. Cuz Daisy, please type in the chat, exclamation mark, search. Oh no. What did we do to deserve this? Cuz it's fun. You agreed to play with Patch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what you were getting yourselves in for. Good point. Well made. I warned you. I warned you so much. <laughs> Good point. Well made. Here's Daisy. We are, are you there? There, there you go. go. Thank 52. you. A 52. Let's take a look. Let's say it on my little sheet. Okay, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna roll to determine who this is gonna be. Alright. Uh so Alright. Zool. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh it happens. You 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 look down and you see that this like great axe has been thrown right next to you. And you're like, oh, okay, what's that? And you feel something on your shoulder and as you look um, there is a large banana on your shoulder. Akita banana. That has just appeared out of nowhere, and you try and move it off, but it's it's just there. Um, <laughs> what this spectral so banana? So a movable object on this banana. So so what this banana does for the next minute is it grants you a plus two to all saving throws. And what? immunity from being forcefully moved or knocked prone for the next <laughs> minute. Magic! Good magic! Magic yeah. banana! It's so perfect! The dice know what to do. <laughs> oh the power God. of rest. Like, seriously, I've, I picked up the recipe book instead of my spell book and it's just worked out for me. <laughs> okay. So that brings us to the top of the round. Back to Rena. Rena's looking a bit, a bit pissed off now. Best make a con saving throw then for the moonbeam because she haven't moved yet. This is true. Uh, natural twenty. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's uh, that's all right. So it's just half damage this time. Yep. So roll your damage. Three d ten radiant damage, and then half of it. Yeah. 
plus, uh, do I still have the plus 1d4? Hang on, that's uh, not 3d10. <laughs> that's 1d10. damage, though. Yeah, it's, it's not for damage. Oh, it's not for damage, no, no, it's not, is it? That's 1d... I'm going to re-roll this, because that didn't work. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so that's 17, so it's going to be 8 radiant damage. Because okay. you round down, don't you? That's correct. All right. So, <clears throat> you you look back as this happens, and again, you see this like split second, like sudden change in her demeanor, and then automatically flashes back. Um, let's have a look. Would it, would it just be me that notices that? Yeah, you would see that, because you, you know that it's taking effect, because it's your spell. Right, okay. Um, and you'd seen it previously, so you you were you knew to look out for it. Um, <clears throat> what this also does is draw her attention towards you. Hmm. Um, and she is going to go ahead and hurl a guiding bolt towards you. Ah. Uh, with a natural three, so just misses. She she goes to to fire off the attack, but something distracts her. It's it's, it's something nearby is distracting her. She's not entirely sure what it is. She's looking around a bit confused and annoyed. She can't quite perceive what's happening. So that happened. <laughs> okay, so that, is that, um, oh, that's the big arena? Does she move? No, she's not moved. Okay. Sorry. Um, but yeah, she's gonna she's gonna go ahead and start moving towards uh, Max. Um, please, please move it. Let, let me see exactly where it moves. So she moves. Interesting. Then yes. She will take an attack. Excellent. <gasps> As she moves, you see that she reacts to something that you can't see that is there. Not quite That's sure. Not what great it is. though. It's only a fourteen. Did you add D four from bless? Or is it just for damage? I'm. It's not me doing it. Yeah. No. Okay. Interesting. And even with the four, it wouldn't hit. So. So you oh, yeah. see, you you watch uh, Rena sort of power walk towards uh, Bax um, and seem to bat something away as she does um, but there's nothing there, like it's weird it's almost like it's some sort of like like weird jolt in her arm it's weird uh, that will end her turn, Philander uh. She's moved, that's no good for me. Is the person next to her also a bad guy? Uh, yes. Trying to figure out who's who right now. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Everybody is so dark. Can see that. Ah. 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 <laughs> yeah, so there's Bastia and the bad guy and Rina. Okay. I am going to cast Synaptic Static to hit as many of the bad guys as possible. Okay. Where are you casting? It's a 20 foot sphere. Oh, I can use this. 20 foot sphere. From you or from a certain point? Or are you uh, from to... a certain point. Does it target everyone or just the people you know? It's anyone within the sphere. Okay. It's the thing Taffy hit Gerida with. Uh... <laughs> you can You can just about get the archer on the, the hilltop as well as Rena and this guy, but it would also mean you would get 
Yavis, Bax, Bastia. I don't want to hit any of my friends this time. <laughs> and and T-Bold. If I don't have to, I'm not going to hit my friends. Yeah, you would get everybody. <laughs> yeah. So, you would probably get T-Bold. Well, that's very, very tempting. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Oh, for those of you in the audience who were asking about music earlier, this music is from The Witcher 3. Very good for battle music. Would it is good. Ah. I didn't know what it was, but I like it. That is an intelligent saving throw of 17. For what again, sorry? For an intelligent saving throw for everybody within the 20 foot. Oh, so you're doing it? Yeah. Oh, I'm not hitting everybody, I'm hitting... I'm pushing it back so it only hits... Reader oh. and Light. Just for the follow. Okay. I'll say you can just get Rina and one other person. Thanks for the follow, Leo the Little Toad. Leo the Little Toad, Amazing. Okay, so intelligence saving throw from them. So, that's a natural one for the big guy. Uh, so, we'll call that a failure. And... Um, a 21 from Rena. That is a definitely a pass. But that's still half damage. And did you say the other guy failed? Yes, you got a natural one. Uh, they subtract a d6 from their attack rolls and ability checks, as well as con saves. To maintain their concentration, although uh, I can't imagine they're concentrating on anything. No. <laughs> There'll be some good old D&D. Excellent, you will fit right in here. Let's have some of that damage. That's what was the first source 33. of music? Oof. Say that again, sorry? My bad. Damage. 33 psychic. 33 psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Uh, is that halved for because she got a. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so 33 halved. Maths. Bing. Uh, what was your question, John? Oh, what was the first source of music from we were first talking about before? Oh, at the beginning, uh, Jeremy Soul. Yes. Yes. But what what game was it? Uh, Guild Wars. Guild Wars One and Two. Guild Wars. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, it's a distraction. No, 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 it's all good. It's all good. It's worth talking about. Um, and then, can I run into try and slash her? Uh, only if you're going to Dalish slasher. <laughs> With a bit of manoeuvring, I'd say you can just about get there. <laughs> I see some new friends. Yeah, well, it's always good to have you here. Welcome. <laughs> I try and straight uh, back. There's a 26 to hit. 26? I'm gonna say that hits. That's. 15 slashing. 15. 8 fire. Plus 13 fire to the other guy if he's within 5 feet, which I think he is. Uh, he is, which means he essentially is cremated. And then 6 psychic. Six seconds, did you say? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, reading is starting to look a little rough. And I am going to make her, with my shard, have disadvantage on constitution saves. Okay. 
All right. That brings us to Baskus Abbey. Hello. You have a arena up in your face. Up in my face. Well, at this at this point, I would like to uh, combat wild shape oh. into an awakened brown bear. Oh, that's the one figure that Aye. hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> oh, well, the one that hasn't arrived yet. Okay. And uh, so as it I might, do... Do you know what? It might have even arrived. It might be downstairs. It might have arrived today, but... Uh, I will use your direwolf figure for now. Okay. As I do, and as uh, the awakened brown bear can speak one language known by its creator, as I'm changing, I will say, YOU ARE NOT WELCOME HERE! And, uh, reach to pick her up, hold her aloft, and body slam her into the ground. I want fun out of this! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you inspiration for this attack. Nice. So, uh, so if you're gonna grab, so that's gonna be a strength check? Strength, yes. Okay, so make a strength check with advantage. I'll make strength with advantage. Okay, Unless right, well, this is, uh, ni it's 19 plus 4, so, uh, on this, so it's a plus 4, as well, it reminds a plus 2, so I'll have to do a d20 plus 4 plus d4, won't I? Because I'm yeah. still blessed, still right? Still blessed? You are. d20. Two blessed plus pairs. 4. Impala favoured. Plus d... Right. Right, so that, what the hell happened there? D20 plus 1D4. Right, I've got to do it out of advantage anyway, don't I? So I'll get to do it again. Right. Some WWE bear action. Right, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> 7, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21? Yes. Alright. Just watching um, Xavier Woods' interview today. That's great. Oh, he's yeah. so good at Xavier. Does that is is that a manoeuvre of the actual bear or is this just you being creative? Like, That's just me being so, creative. Okay. I just I just figured a bear would be a strong thing and be able to pick somebody up and throw them to the ground. And I'll tell you what. Go ahead and roll me. It's going to be bludgeoning damage, wouldn't it? Roll me. Uh, I'm going to give you 3d10 for this. Alright. 3d10 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Because <laughs> I like this. This is great. That is 16. 16. Okay, and you can go ahead and describe to me how this manoeuvre happens in a bit more detail if you like. If you want to add a bit more flavour. Because it's a cool moment. So. Well, I'll just... Uh... I'll just make myself tall, stand up like a bear would, reach down, grab her under the armpits, <coughs> lift her above my head, turn her around so that her face would be pointing downwards, so I'm actually holding onto her back and just yeah. slam her down in front of me. Yeah, she, oh, she did not like that one bit. I remember when she was our friend. Yep, <laughs> I remember. No longer. Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> okay. That's I. I'm gonna clap you for that. That was such a great turn. Um, <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, yeah, miss. What would you like to do? All right. From one bear to another. <laughs> yes, this, this is the WWE tag team. You didn't know you needed. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, this is like, yes, Max, yes, and spin round and just shoulder check the other one off the top of the cliff there. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know. What? Okay. Uh, go ahead and yeah, uh, strength, athletics, whichever is convenient. Is athletics, yeah. It's contested by your athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Yeah. Uh, cool, 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 cool. I'm pretty sure you're going to win. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> 12 from the archer. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I get a... Um, 
26. <laughs> okay. So 26. Uh, just give me... Give me a D8 of bludgeoning damage while I work out the fall damage. Good uh, uh, Only a two. Okay. How, how high is the cliff? Is it D6 per 10 feet? Yeah, I've just, I've, I've, I've just worked it out, yeah. Um, it's going to take... Uh, yeah, drink of water. You got two, right? Two, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be a total of eight. Damage. Maths, maths, maths. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. As it lands on the floor after being shoulder checked. Anything else, sir? Okay. That replaces one of my attacks. So the other, I've still got two attacks. Yep. So he just, he just double, double hands his great axe and just leaps off in slow motion like Sparta style. So, Okay. He springs it down on top of him. Really weird because it looks like normal for everyone else because it's slow motion for you, but you're hasted. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first of all, uh, go ahead and make your attack. Uh, you are out of advantage because it's prone. And you also take eight points of bludgeoning damage from the fall. Yep. No problem. All. Um, that is going to be um, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Be a good time to have added gravity. Oh, Max. I mean, I almost did it earlier. <laughs> that I didn't know. So that is um, 18. 18. As you, uh, as the axe descends into the torso of this creature, it squirms and then it stops squirming and remains still. Forevermore. Okay, okay, and because I reckon, I reckon I've probably got enough speed because you know I've got, <laughs> got I've got a max movement. of eighty feet. <laughs> yeah, I can go uh -huh. eighty feet in one round. So, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like you know like three point hero landing with the axe buried in the chest of this one, just <clears throat> rip it out, spring to my feet, and then just go. <laughs> I'm coming, brother. Just charging towards the that the um towards Rena. <laughs> easy, easy get ah. The third and final attack. As you as you run past the uh, the remaining brutes, he's looking at you like. Stop running <laughs> away from me and fight me again. <laughs> That's a twenty three. A twenty three hits. Yeah. And that is 14 slashing. 14 slashing, okay. Oh, I had another attack. Yeah. As I just got running past, it's like, I told you to wait! I'll be back! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That was it. She's, she's looking real rough now, Ms. Rina. So that ends your turn. That will bring us to Bastia. Bastia's gonna go for one of the other remaining people, not Marina. She feels as, as if I perhaps it's best settled by people who know her. Okay. So yeah, she's there's... going to turn her attention. Uh, she's gonna cast Toll the Dead on um, whichever brute she can see that's closest to her, I suppose. Yep. So there's just the one, let's just go for that one. So. Okay, so Toll the Dead. That's a Wisdom 17 saving throw. Uh, natural 19. Okay, so he still takes, uh, sorry, do you round up or do you round down for damage? I rolled a 19. Uh, down. Okay, so it's nine points of necrotic damage. Okay. <laughs> I've suddenly forgotten how to do maths. <laughs> I always forget okay. how to do maths. Cool. Then she's going to move her spiritual weapon over. Um, actually, up to a maximum 20 feet, can she reach him? Is he 20 feet away? Just out of reach. Can I reach somebody else? Um, not really, no. Well, that's okay. It'll come chill next to her then, I okay. guess. Um, or actually, do I have any other options I can do instead? 
Mm. Big thanks to everyone for tuning in while we melt in the heat of this wonderful summer's day. Yeah, my aircon's kind of broke right now, so I'm feeling it. Right you now you well. have aircon at least. You're my non existent. <laughs> <laughs> Broken. We wouldn't need it for flipping 10 months of the year though, so there's no point. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to do for my turn, I think. Okay, so that brings us to the archer who is the last of his kind. Well, not, not like in the world, just in this encounter. <laughs> he probably <laughs> feels like it. Down, yeah. With his, like, not much health and, like, staring down Kego, who has run up behind him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to dagger him because he can't do anything else. Natural worm. Mm -hmm. Screw it. He daggers himself. He's like, nope, I've got no health. <laughs> he just takes the dagger and <laughs> takes himself out of the equation. Kego looks very <laughs> confused right now. <laughs> okay, no more archers. Okay, good to know. That brings us to Zool. So, now, I don't know if it will do anything, but can that tentacle take damage? Uh, you don't know? Well, <laughs> would a nat 20 hit it? If it takes damage, Go on. it will take... Uh, let me just work this out, because nobody else knows what's going on. Uh, God, that, so that'll be 88. 88 because of crit. 88. <laughs> Not bad. Six, seven, it's better than bad. It's good. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 23 plus 8. That's 31. Plus 9. I have a suspicion it's a spiritual weapon. 40. If the, tentac oh. if the tentacle can take damage, it takes 40, 40 piercing damage. 40 piercing damage? If it can take damage. It doesn't seem to take any effect. I didn't oh, think right. it would, but oh, the spell's already lost because everybody moved away from it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or they died, so it's kind of useless. I was like, oh, I might as well try. So really cool. Okay. Um... So if I don't have that, I will... So where is Yavis right now? I can't see in the crease. He's He's next to me in the uh, arena. So in that big point, like, pile there. Up, like, a finger on him, so I can see which one's Yavis. Yavis. There. Cool, okay. Then I am going to magic missiles the guy between me and Yavis. Just at level one, all three missiles going in him. Okay, roll your damage. Um. So that's... Really Three darts, but as he, as you see him like cast this, and instead of like the normal magic missiles, it's just three pieces of corn on the cob fly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like out of his hand. That five. Amazing. Plus three. Plus four. Five plus three plus four. Math. Twelve. Twelve, <laughs> and it is moved. Toward uh, right next to Yavis, as the gravity pushes it back as it gets hit the force of each hit, and it's right it next really to Yavis. It's just a pile in it now. Tell me they explode in popcorn when they hit. And, uh, oh, yes! 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 <laughs> yep. And surprisingly, despite taking that damage, it looks happy because now it's finally within melee range of its foe that it was trying to fight all along. <laughs> it kept running away from it. I just uh, my job is to paste Yavis, then put creatures close enough for Yavis to tear apart. That is my <laughs> job. All right, that brings us to T-Bolt, who is still there. Um, what's T-Bolt gonna do? Still there. Still there. Wow. Still there. is like so out of his league. Um, what is he gonna do? Screw it. 
<laughs> he's gonna like wipe away his tears like well then and he's gonna unleash a firebolt towards Rena. and advantages because she's prone uh, which is gonna be a 19 mm -hmm. so it hits so I need a d10 I need two d10 Right, patch. What's that? Range, range is attack is a advantage, as John said. Yeah. Oh, well then, it doesn't hit him. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I get that Sorry, sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, he tries to. He's, he's still he's still learning his uh, <clears throat> his powers. They're still very new to him. He's, he's tried to rush his way into being a hero. Um, <laughs> he just sets fire to some of this shrubbery that's sort of amassed in one part of the, the battleground. Um, we can't really do much else. So, that brings us to Kego, who's very confused. He's very, always very confused. confused. <laughs> it's just he's Kego. on his own now. Uh, so he's going to... Good view. Uh, what is his ridiculous monk stuff? Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay. So. Uh, so he uses his full movement to get 55 feet there. And then. Uh, he just looks down at Reader on the floor and says, Like I told you, you should have got some more guys. And he's gonna he's gonna hold his action in case some weird shit happens. That's literally his thought process. Those exact words. Which makes me think <laughs> weird shit will happen. <laughs> uh, and that brings us to not you because you're dead. Uh, oh, it's finally it's the brute's turn. So finally, he's going to go for his his nemesis. But then he realizes he hasn't got his weapon because he threw it earlier. <laughs> oh. So, so it's like, he's... <laughs> yeah, it's right next to. It's like lodged in the rock right next to my head. So he's just gonna. He's just gonna try and punch Yavis, I guess. <laughs> just <laughs> crying. <laughs> advantage. Advantage. I'm reckless. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. That was a ten. I was hoping for two natural ones. <laughs> At least he didn't punch <laughs> himself. He didn't just like go to Yavis and like bounce off the bear and punch himself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he goes to punch and and uh, Yavis, how do you def how do you not get punched? <laughs> or just take it. Okay. Here. So I'm just I'm still I'm still like looking towards Rena and this this guy comes over and he thinks he's got he's got me. You know, he's, I'm looking the wrong way. I'm finally in the, in the same spot as he is, but um, he's not reckoning. Um, and taking into account my um, danger sense, <laughs> which I have as a barbarian, so I just I just hear it coming, and I just ma massive paw just swings around and knocks his arm out of the way. I said, wait. <laughs> All right. Uh, which will bring us back to the top of the round. Uh, let's get one more. Uh, I'll say what banana. You are still in the chat. Will you type in the chat for me, exclamation mark, surge, S-U-R-G-E. You can get involved in yeah. this. And see what happens. It's something I like to do in particular battles. If you would be so kind. Let's go. Are you still there, banana? Or have we lost you? I think people should race for it, it's funnier. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sorry. First come, first served! Exclamation mark surge. <laughs> yeah. Whoever gets it first, gets it. Three, two, one, go! Whoa. Oh, Daffa! Ooh, big one. 93. Mm -hmm. 93. That's a high number. 
I'm trying to remember what they are, but I don't think it's the same okay. table. Uh, okay, is that the phone? I'm gonna have to roll again. I'm gonna have to roll again. Oh, so close. Okay! Zul! Again. You still have this, uh, this weird banana on your shoulder <laughs> that is seemingly making you feel stronger um, and a bit better. And then like, all like of a sudden... It's like one of those, like, wreathed blankets. It's kind of keeping me good. Yeah. So, um, what you also find at this time is uh, you feel like a strange feeling within your limbs. And then you finally realize what it is. Uh, where is it again? Uh, for the next minute, your size increases by one category. <laughs> does the banana really? also increase in size? Yeah, yes, the banana does question. also increase in size. <laughs> I mean, that actually might fuck my next plan. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> There's a reason why Zul is small. There's a reason why he's very short. Uh-huh. Now, Zul, now's the time. Now, now look me in the eyes and say something. <laughs> I'm gonna look, about, look over your head now, miss it. I am now still. I like the idea that I've increased in size to a large creature, and yet I am still not as tall as you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that brings us to the top of the round to Rena. Rena prone on the floor. Sensing defeat, looks up at you all and says, You've been very helpful. Thank you for your assistance. I'll see you at the Great Reconvergence, shall I? And then you see her. That spell? From sight. Do you want to try a counter spell? I'm going to try a counter spell. Okay, what level? Yes. If, that was, if I saw a spell casting, I'm gonna try. So I guess third level. So I guess I have to do. I have to roll. Uh, you don't have to roll. I don't. Just do something here. You release the counter spell, knowing what she is trying to do, but you feel like this weird tingle in your hand as Rena's spell succeeds and she vanishes from sight. It's damn bullshit, guys. And as you turn around what armor? you see standing there, hand raised in a counter spell form is T-Bolt, who appears to have blackened eyes. Hang on. Would I have seen that? Maybe. Wait, wh- where are you? No, hang on. Uh, where are you? No, you, you would have been looking the complete opposite direction. You wouldn't have seen T-Bolt. I'm here, Rena, you were T-Bolt. right over Rena. So. But as you all turn around to see this, you see another figure standing alongside T Bolt. And as I pan the camera in for a dramatic closing shot. Yeah. There. You see another figure that has just recently emerged on the battlefield. As we close off today's episode with another familiar face from the past. Oh man. I was just considering disguising myself as him. Were you really? <laughs> Interesting. So, very large. Yavis, Zul, and Bastia, you see this horrific creature is now stood at the side of Tebold. Um, 
three of you make a history check for me. See if the history is not very good. Uh, that's a nat 20 for a total 24. Okay. Dude. Noise. I just got 15. a 10. 15 and 10. Okay. Um, Zul, as soon as you see this creature, you, you've you seen illustrations in books before in looking through your, 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 your very different studies of magic and magical creatures and you've seen an illustration of a creature like this before which was referred to as an uh, as an illithid Ugh. like that you see it has them but i'm not happy <laughs> emerald green eyes and bax and Lander recognize it as pragmar known as the one who whispers and that is where we will close for today. Shit. Damn it. There we go. Bad. I, <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to do it, but you I mean, were going it's, it's, to. It's all it's blast all, from the past. It's all blast part the of past. the plan. It's all part of the plan. Mistakes were made long ago. Clearly. It just goes. It goes back to the I same. I like how we're suffering for these mistakes. We are I, suffering. It we were in the same all of this. The, the saying I have maintained all along as the practically the tagline of this series: "Curiosity brings consequence." Oh God, Yavis! Why am I suffering <laughs> because of Pragma? I was the one who didn't want to fight him. <laughs> I was literally the only one who was like, "Yeah, let's go out this portal that he made for us, guys." Because they've all, because they've all left. <laughs> but no, there we go. So uh, I hope you've all enjoyed yourselves. It's been a yes. fun session. Nice, nice and chaotic. Yes. I'm sure there'll be plenty of clippable moments, TikTokable moments. I might try and do some more. Oh God! Everyone seemed to like uh -oh. the uh, Ian McKellen one. <laughs> God. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, it's been it's been a pleasure. Hope you've all enjoyed, and thanks to the players. I'm very warm, can you tell? Thanks to the players, yeah. everyone who's tuned in. You're all amazing. Back, uh, back we'll to the fire. Next I am. time. Yeah. Do stick around, because we'll go raiding. That's, we'll find that's just me house. There's not left yeah. of it. It's, that is my soul right now. Uh, stick around, because we're going to go raiding. Uh, before we go, what, what, what's going on with you this next week, John? What have you got on the week? Well, normally it would be Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, but we had our Season 1 finale last week, which means it is on its summer break. And that means that until it comes back in September, we have eight weeks off. And for seven of those weeks, we are going to be romping through the jungles of the Snout of Omgar, a small island off the southern coast of Chult, populated by turtles with hidden temples and forgotten ruins waiting in the jungles for our all new group with some new players to the channel uh, well, a, a new player to D&D &D, and the wonderful AJ Winters from uh, Winters Tales joining us uh, incredible Australian voice actor and um, then it will be back into our regular campaigns that you know and love um, as we go out of the abyss Curse of Strad and Descent into Avernus in rapid succession at the end of the week. Um, head on over, give us uh, give us a look on our schedule, and uh, you can see all the info there. Thank you very much. There's a lot going on there, John. I'm gonna, Excellent. I'm gonna... yeah, yeah. Bits and bobs, bits and bobs. Let me do a do a thingy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sure. Oh. It works. There we go. Yeah. Was last seen playing Dungeons and Dragons. <gasps> really? <laughs> what a surprise! Did you see that? <laughs> Come see Curse of Strad, where you can see us all in absolute pain and misery. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is that is that is that is a hell of a thing. All right. Speaking of gonna love you and leave you guys. Uh, stick around. We're gonna go and raid some lucky person, uh, and we will see you very soon. Goodbye. That's all. I, I forget how to end the stream. Bear with me. <laughs> 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 it's good. Okay. So it's like goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>